All right, welcome back to WMAC Now with your host Chuck Stevenson. Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about the ladies at the UFC Academy at the UFC Performance Institute in Shanghai. So last year the UFC opened up their huge, uh, just ginormous uh, Performance Institute in Shanghai, China. And one of the first things they decided to do with it was to hold what they called the UFC Academy Combine. And basically they brought in, they invited or had open tryouts for I think around 50 fighters from around China and the region, regional area. Uh, they brought them in for these series of testing, tests and tryouts. And at the end, I think they reduced it to like around 20 or 30 uh, fighters. And then those 30 fighters got, was basically a scholarship to the UFC Academy, which means they came, they got to come and stay and train full time at the UFC Performance Institute under the auspices of the staff and coaches there. And um, it is just a, an intensive program. Um, one of the fighters I'm gonna mention, Ramona Pasquale, if you follow her on uh, Instagram, her Instagram stories, uh, she's done a very good job of documenting like the training, the type of training they do, the type of recovery, uh, their diet, I mean, that Performance Institute and that Academy is like an all-in-one thing. They stay there. Uh, they eat there. They spend a lot of their free time there. They, they have facilities uh, set up for like uh, morale, welfare, and recreation and stuff. Um, it is a huge program designed to help uh, build uh, the fighters on the regional scene in China. And it which is pretty neat because it shows that the UFC is uh, actually is dedicated to helping uh, grow the Chinese market in that way. Um, and today I want to talk about uh, some of the ladies that made it through the combine and are now part of the UFC Academy. I can tell uh, I've been able to figure out uh, like six of them. So we'll take a look at those six. All right, first up is Ramona Pasquale. Uh, she's the only one who's not native to mainland China. She's actually from uh, Hong Kong. She's 31 years old, fights in the bantamweight division. She stands five feet, seven inches, 170 centimeters tall. She has a reach of 66.1 inches, 168 centimeters. She currently has a record of either three and two or four and two. Uh, I know she fought for WLF recently, um, but it's hard to find the results for those events. Uh, that's a local Chinese uh, promotion that's run by a TV network over there. Um, she's also fought uh, once before in Road FC. She was uh, one of the winners of a reality show that Road FC did. Uh, next up is Shi uh, Ming. She means 25 years old. She fights an atom weight or his straw weight. She stands five feet, three inches tall, 160 centimeters. Uh, she has a record of seven and three. And she is a veteran of the WL that I mentioned, which is a uh, Wulin Feng, Heroin FC, and, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. She most recently won in December at Road FC. Next up is Huang Fair. I'm not sure of her age, but she fights in the strawweight division. She is five feet, five inches, 165 centimeters tall. She is six and four as a pro. And she won a four woman, one night tournament at WLF Wars in January. Uh, she had to beat two other strawweights. Uh, she is now currently the WLF strawweight champion. Next we have uh, Dan Na. I'm not sure of her age, but she is a flyweight. Unsure of her height. She has a current record of 10 and four. Uh, she is a one-time Bellator fighter, uh, but most of her fights have been in WLF. Uh, very strong grappler. 
but her striking seems to be improving from what I've seen lately. Uh, next up is Yan Ji Hee. I'm not sure of her age either. She fights at flyweight. She stands five feet three inches, 160 centimeters tall. She has a current record of either 10 and three or 10 and four. Again, sometimes it's hard to get results for some of the events that happen in China. Um, from what I've seen of her, she might be one of, <coughs> <coughs> she might actually be the most promising uh, fighter to come out of this UFC Academy. And then finally, we have Han Guan Mei. I'm not sure of her age either. Uh, she fights at bantamweight. She stands five feet, seven inches, 169 centimeters tall. Now she is not a pro, pro yet. She has not made her pro debut, but she is four and zero as an amateur. Um, and she is an IMMAF, uh, WMMAA, uh, tournament champion. She fought, I believe, three or four times in a span of two days uh, for a big worldwide uh, amateur tournament and walked away the champion. So very much looking forward to her pro debut. Okay, so that is the ladies uh, that I can find for the UFC Academy. Just wanted to share, you know, uh, who these ladies are, what they're doing, uh, it is pretty important. It is part of the UFC uh, program that's going on over in China. Uh, I thought it'd be nice to update everybody on that and what I could tell of it. Um, definitely follow Ramona Pasquale on I Instagram. She's not back there yet. The Academy took a break, uh, like a six-week break because of the Chinese New Year. And then, you know, the coronavirus outbreak caused everything. So I think she was training in Thailand at Tiger Muay Thai. And now I think she's headed home to Hong Kong to quarantine before she goes back to Shanghai. Um, but her Instagram is, I believe, Ramona Carla, R-A-M-O-N-A-C-A-R-L-A. -A -A. Um, her Instagram story is like every day she updates on uh, what she does in training, who she's training with, uh, where she's training, and when she goes to back to the academy talks about everything like every aspect of the training that goes on there she's documenting it very uh good resource to find out what's going on with that program uh, definitely follow her on instagram uh, some of the others have various social medias as well but definitely check her out and really that's really all i have for that uh, let me know your thoughts um if you've ever watched any of these ladies fight before let me know in the comments down below of course likes are always appreciated and hey what are you waiting for? Subscribe to WMMA Scene Now, the best, fastest growing women's mixed martial arts dedicated platform on YouTube. Don't forget to hit that bell for notifications. It'd be a lot cooler if you did, and we'll see you next time.